All right, uh, we're gonna do things a little bit differently today from Burns Brothers Performance. Uh, Dave Loney is working uh, from a remote location, so uh, I'm gonna show you a couple things on the car that I've done today. Uh, first off, I uh, on the passenger's fender here, was able to save the fender, but had to put a patch on the bottom. Um, had to modify the patch a little bit. It wasn't bent uh, quite correct. Um, so we got that fixed up and it's pretty much ready to go back on the car for gapping, um, you know, alignment, panel alignment, all that stuff. Um, but uh, today I'm gonna be showing you a few things on the firewall. Uh, since we're switching this car from a factory AC car to a non-AC car, uh, the hole in the firewall is a little bit different. Um, so cut a section out of the firewall uh, to weld uh, a different one in for non-AC car. Um, so follow along, I'm gonna show you a couple things and um, yeah, we'll go from there, thanks. I'm uh, modifying this firewall on the uh, 69 Chevelle here of uh, Tammy Hall. Uh, cut out the original firewall for the air conditioning. See the hole is a lot different than this hole on this one. Um, I'm just uh, stitch welding here. A little boring, but uh, you know, got to take your time and uh, work around it really slow uh, as to not warp anything. You know, create uh, you know work for us later on down the road. So anyway. Um, yeah, I uh, got a little static online about the, you know, using an original piece, sourcing it off of a uh, original car. But, um, you know, there's enough donor cars out there right now. If you want to do this swap on your own, you can find it. You just got to hunt around. Luckily, uh, after a bunch of online searches, I actually found this piece locally uh, down, uh, you know, 25 minutes from my house. Uh, Pat Coffee actually hooked me up with this piece. So, yeah, just welding that in and... Uh, I'll get it all welded in and ground, and then a uh, couple more little holes from the air conditioning. We'll get those um, uh, welded up, and yeah, I mean, for all intents and purposes, you'll never be able to tell once this car's all together that it was an AC car. So, anyway, uh, thanks for following along, and uh, I'm gonna keep welding here. I'm not gonna bore you with all that, but uh, um, yeah, we'll get that finished up. idea what's going on basically just uh we'll finish grinding this do a little bit more welding and then uh got a hole right there to fix uh from the ac uh wiring harness and that one right there too we'll get this all ground down and uh do a little skim coat on there and it'll be looking pretty good um nice and nice and original looks good i didn't have to make the piece i was able to find it so i'm uh, pretty happy with that um, anyway, uh, yeah, uh, go ahead and, uh, hit the comments down there. Tell us what you think. Um, see if you want to see more of the car. Um, it's kind of a first run for us to do it like this, but, um, if, uh, if you want to see more of the build process in this, uh, fashion, let me know, let Dave know, and, uh, we'll go from there and, uh, yeah, give us your feedback, like, subscribe to Dave Loney V or D Loney V8 Motorsports. Um, all right. Thanks guys.